Hello, clever people, and welcome back to my review for Diary of a Wimpy Kid's The Long Haul. So, Diary of a Wimpy Kid's The Long Haul is about fart joke and pee joke. And, Jesus, does, does 20th Century Fox think that kids are this dumb? Like, honestly, I, I can't imagine a six-year-old enjoying this. <sighs> so, Diary of a Wimpy Kid is about a kid, his teenage brother, younger baby brother and they go on this road trip and there's some crazy hijinks that are going along the road. This may be one of the most insufferable movies I've ever seen. That's not a joke. I honestly hated that mo this movie that much. Let's start out with the good. There is nothing in this movie that is good so let's move on to the bad. Things just happen way too quick. Like, there's a minute of setup, and all of a sudden, we're on the road. It's so stupid. There's this thing where he, like, goes into the ball pit, and he picks up a diaper, and he's like, Ooh, it's a diaper! So, he turns into a meme, and his name is Diaper Hands. And you know that really outdated meme text? The white text on the top, and the white text on the bottom? Yeah, that's what happens. It says, Diaper Hand. It's just so outdated. The child acting is funny. It's, it's funny because of how bad just the acting is in general. Greg Kinnear, Greg Kinnear, I don't know. He's, he's a gr great actor. He, he plays the dad. He's a great actor. He's one of my favorite films of all time, Little Miss Sunshine. And he had the audacity, he had the audacity to, to, to make a reference to that film. There's this thing where we're trying to get the car moving, so they start pushing the car, and one by one they start jumping in the car. This movie is so unfunny, it can be funny. Like, that isn't most of the time, but there are some scenes that are just just horrible and so stupid. They, they're they just funny. I think this movie kind of drove me insane, because there's this one scene where there's a, they're looking for the pig in the car, and someone, acts, uh, someone like puts their foot against the window and opens the window, and the pig tries to jump out of the car. The mom grabs it, and the pig looks so composited in there, I laughed out loud for like 40 seconds. I'm sure the movie theater thought I was crazy. There are so many scenes that would just be resolved if he called the cops or told his parents. Like, there's the scene where this crazy fat dude is just running after him, threatening to kill him. Because he did something that is... Uh, his kids did, and he, they blamed it on him. So he accidentally goes in their room and sleeps because he thinks it's his room. I also find, and the, the the guy is just running after him, and he's just hiding. And then when he comes back in the room, realizes it, and they're like, "Where, where were you?" And they're like, and and he's like, "Oh, oh, oh I was running. I quit jog." <laughs> like, why don't you tell your parents? There is literally no reason why he shouldn't tell, tell his parents. He did nothing wrong in that scenario. There is no reason why he shouldn't tell his parents. He just doesn't to carry on the, the plot and some jokes later on. It is so just ridiculously stupid. And the guy begins to follow him. And there's one scene where he actually steals their stuff. And they're like, what's happening? Why is he stealing our stuff? And he's like, I don't know. There are some pacing issues that I, I, I laughed out loud at. So there's this scene where the mom is like crying because of something, and then like it's playing sad music, and all of a sudden it's like do 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 do, and then a seagull comes on the top of the thing, and she's like, "Hey, you want a Cheeto?" And it turns into a joke that quick. Okay, I'm sorry. It just went from a, a dramatic scene to a comedic scene in less than a second. And that can be done. The director obviously doesn't care. And there's so many logical errors. Like, there's a scene in the movie where they're, they're, they're trapped in the mud. And then the, guy tr uh, the dad tries to drive it out. And the family's standing right there. So, so the, the mud sprays all over them. So there's like a 5 to 10 second scene about them just going, Ew, mud. Ew, there's mud spraying on us. It's like, run away. <laughs> Get out of the way! <laughs> I honestly think the writer 
wrote this in like an hour. Like, there's no other way. They had to have wrote, <laughs> written this in like less than a day at least. Maybe it's 20th Century Fox thinking, hey, their kids, they'll like it. I have nothing against 20th Century Fox, but when it comes to their kids' movies that aren't Blue Sky and stuff like that, I'm like, I like the Peanuts movie, I like movies like that, but really, Diary of the Wimpy Kid, Alvin and the Chipmunks, no, no. Kids aren't this dumb. Another logical error is that the kids run away from the hotel. So they're, they're doing the road trip so they can go to their grandma's birthday, 90th birthday party. And there's like a, a Twisted Wizard video game expo. And uh, they, they want to go over there, so they just leave. They take off on an Uber. And they get there without paying admission, which is one. That's, that's not what the point is, but it's still stupid. So he, 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 um, he, he gets the expo, and they, they get on the news. And then they, they start talking. It's like, oh, it's super awesome to be on this expo. And that's how the parents catch him. Because they're on the news. <laughs> Frankly, if you were going to run away, would you really say, hey, guys, this is where I am. Come find me here. And there's a scene where all the stuff is falling out of the back of the car. And he doesn't notice, uh, the driver doesn't notice, well, why are people honking at me? And then, like, the kid looks back and he's like, Uh, Dad, you might want to stop. Like, if that if your belongings were falling out of your car, wouldn't you go, Dad? <laughs> Not and take like ten to fifteen seconds, so more stuff can fall out of your car because of the funny, wacky jokes that this movie has. I'm gonna give. Diary of Wimpy Kid, the amazing 0.5 out of 10 it deserves. Scr you know what? Scratch that. I like nothing about this film. Besides that dad wore the same polo as me in one scene. But, th no, I didn't like a single thing about this film. I'm gonna give this a 0 out of 10. This, this film is worth nothing to me. I will never watch this film again. I guess it, 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 it was so bad it's funny, but that isn't rewarding in the slightest. So, so yeah, Diary of a Kid gets 0 out of 10. Deserves it. <sighs> My review for Baby Driver, which is an actually good movie, should be up soon. Um, and I think I'll be seeing Baywatch. Woohoo. Pirates of the Caribbean 5. Woohoo. This weekend. Alright, so that concludes my review on Comic Book. Next one, Comic Book Comics. Goodbye.